Here's why I'm asking this question, because this is the argument that people make is, oh, well, it's such a small number of people. So why is it concerned about, you know, like, oh, there's not that many 13 year olds and 14 year olds and 15 year olds getting double mastectomies. Mm -hmm. So what's the big deal? And I would say it's like <laughs> the police shooting unarmed black men. Do you think police shooting unarmed black men is a problem worth addressing on a public scale? Yes, of course. Okay. How many unarmed black men are shot by police in a given year? Do you know? I don't. The thing with that is there's no sort of give or take. It's not police shoot unarmed black men, but uh, police rights are going up. That's not really what's Hold happening on. here. Let's, it's... let's break it down. Let's just break it down by, by one sure. issue. If you had to guess how many unarmed black men in the United States are killed by police in a given year? I don't know. And I don't think it's relevant in this context. Well, I'm just curious because you said very confidently that you think it's a problem. If you had to put a number out there. I think it's a problem, but I don't know. And I, I don't think. Why did you say a, it's absolutely. Question. I, okay. I could be misremembering, but I believe 40 seconds ago being shot by police in America is a problem. You said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you say that? I said that because of things like BLM and all of the various activists that are campaigning for this. Okay. That's a remarkably honest answer. I, I absolutely believe that. I, I mean, that's, that's, that's why, look, I'm not a political analyst or any kind yeah, of, I don't even make YouTube videos fine. about this. That's so fair. I don't know the numbers, but, uh, I'm really going off what I see in society on the internet mostly. Okay, that's fair. I would be lying if I said I don't do something similar, but I think you are aware of the risks that poses to you in terms of like you could be getting misinformation from Black Lives Absolutely. Matter. Absolutely. But I don't think that I am getting misinformation from Black Lives Matter because of the people I hear this from, I trust because I've fact checked many of their claims. I've thought about them intensely. I mean, I didn't arrive at this conclusion that I am some kind of socialist or whatever in just like that. It was uh, years and years of looking into this community. And then at a point I decided I'm going to trust these people. And if they betray my trust, then I'm not going to trust them anymore. But that hasn't happened yet. Well, look, I respect your honesty. Let me try and give you reason not to trust them. Okay. Sure. By, get, by trying to give you honest information. If I told you the number of unarmed black men that were killed by police was less than a thousand. Would you believe me? Yeah, absolutely. What about less than a hundred? Sure. How about less than 30? Maybe. Okay. It's less than 30. The Washington Post, I believe, has a police database. You can go to yourself and put the filters in. The number of unarmed black men, actually unarmed black people, if you include women too, that are killed by police each year is about 20. That's fair. Um, okay. So do you, given that there are 20 instances out of the 300 million plus that, and that that's not even saying that they were just, some of those were justified because if the unarmed person could be charging the police officer, for example, so assuming mm -hmm. all of those were unjustified, which is not the case, there mm -hmm. were 20 instances of unarmed <clears throat> black men being killed by police. Do you think that well, warrants the level of outrage on the part of BLM? Well, it's not just shot unarmed black men. It's a uh, police brutality in general. Okay. And it's not just children that are getting surgery performed on them. It's children who are confused in general. Do you want to tell everyone if you're a boy or a girl? <laughs> and children be who hide their pronouns or whatever from their parents and being told that uh, sex is a social construct and all that. So yes, there's, there's layers of issues, but when I'm comparing the black lives matter issue to the gender issue, I'm hoping you can see why it's right. I think that the conversation around race in the United States and the relationship that people who are black have to policing is a serious issue. Even though it is only 20 unarmed black men that are shot per year, it's mm -hmm. symbolic of deeper issues. Yeah. Right. Okay. So when children get their breasts surgically removed, that's the extreme example that's symbolic of deeper issues. Like the 4,000 children who are put on hormone therapy and the numbers are increasing. Well, that's because my contention is that those, those many of those children were regretted. Many of how many of those children? Not not many. I mean, the um, I don't latest know. data I've seen probably, is like three percent. Probably, <laughs> right. I don't think Slavoj Žižek would have written the article that he did unless he was thoroughly convinced that the data is not there to support the transitioning of children. Because what mm -hmm. motivation would Žižek have to write that otherwise? I mean, I. Yeah, sure. Could come down to his personal beliefs. Um, what but hasn't he demonstrated himself as a relatively reliable ally of 
the LGBTQ community or whatever? I, of course, radically support not only their concrete demands, even many of the theoretical and existential foundations of their demands. Like, I don't feel that I have a fixed sexual identity and so on. Sure. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, he has some weird takes that I don't necessarily agree with always. But yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot of different people that have a lot of different thoughts about this. That's true. Even I agree with that. There are definitely a lot of different people with different thoughts about this.